Good morning! Welcome to the stream, everyone. It is me, your E Daddy, Rotten Poppy. I just realized I didn't grab my bunny ears. I didn't eat. I didn't grab my bunny ears. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. Good morning. Um, hold on. Let me just grab something to clip my hair back. Um, I think my, um, oh, that's weird. Thank you for the bits. I feel like my thingy isn't showing all my alerts today. Be a good cheered X100. I come here for makeup and bunny girl. Don't get me wrong, she cute as not a bunny girl, but I want to see bunny girl. Wait, I found them. They were on my desk. <laughs> They're on my desk. <laughs> my scalp still has some hair dye on it. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> Alright, I'm bunny girl now. How's it going, guys? Good morning! Thanks for coming to the stream, everybody. When it spits on me. Wait, I forgot to grab a straw for this. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna grab the straw for this. Good morning, straw... Straw, <laughs> strawberry, <laughs> strawberry. Okay, hold on, I had dental work done yesterday, so I'm not out here trying to trying to stain my teeth. Mindy, mind I Lee, thank you for the bits. There we go. Mind I Lee Jared X100. You've heard of Iron Man, but did you know about Aluminium Man? While Iron Man stops criminals, Aluminium Man merely foils their plans. Oh my fucking god. Foils their pl get it, get it. Why does the G fuel explode? I don't understand the physics. Where does the internal pressure come from? I swear their shakers need to be studied by NASA to figure out where the force come from. I don't know. Funny girl stream on Twitch. Aww, thank you for 13 months. Happy lucky 13, Raven. I appreciate that. And you started a hype train. Okay. <sighs> the blanket looks so comfy. This blanket is literally fucking awesome. This is the best thing that they sent in the partner package. It, it was. I mean, they did send me Twitch themed Connect 4. <laughs> Which is great. Um, although, you know, the lack of IRL friends doesn't uh, really help with that. I got one of those type of blankets and I love it. I love fuzzy blankets. I got one of those, but my cat's gonna ruin it with her fur. Wait, really? Oh, do you have like a long haired cat? My mom has a long haired cat. And it's uh. It sheds like a motherfucker. It also bites. It also bites hard. My cat, if, if he wants to bite you, you know, he'll give you a little warning. So you're like, okay, I'll stop holding you or whatever it is. My mom's cat, you know, will be purring and sitting on your lap. And then they're like, you know what? I'm gonna bite you as hard as I can because I'm tired of it. Like, okay, bitch. Bitch, okay. What's your zodiac sign? Zodiac? Uh. Fucking boar, I think, or something. My first day back in the office today, and I'm on my own, not Pog. Oh no, Con, I'm sorry. 
So, Bobby, you may not know this, but Vegas is insane. Um, no, I've never been to Vegas. I've heard that it's insane, though. That's like a common, like a common thing that people say. The Zodiac is Squirtle. <sighs> nice. I love Squirtle. But Bulbasaur is my boy. Okay. Let's search for an eyeliner on the lower part. I want to go for the Yu-Gi-Oh look. One of these is. Let's try, my, uh, try going lower line A. Part I bitch out. Yu-Gi-Oh. Liner? Okay, wait. You mean like doing your lower line? Your lash line with eyeliner? Um... I don't line on the inside of my waterline when I do lower liner. I line underneath my lash line. If that helps. Um, I don't know if that helps. I was reading the local news since I live here. It's crazy. Oh man, I bet. I bet the Vegas news is crazy. Yogi boy! <laughs> Time to do 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 move! <laughs> I didn't put- I normally put- I, I put- I didn't bring it in here because I'm forgetting everything. I normally put, uh, what is it called? Healing ointment on my face. I know that sounds weird. It's just like a- it's like a bomb. A bomb. Healing bomb. Now my face feels dry like a fucking Sahara. A healing potion? Yeah, I gotta cover my face in healing potion before I make it. But I left it in the bathroom. Guys, I'm fucking- I'm- I'm not, uh, I'm not, my brain is barely working today. I'm, I don't know, I'm drinking this G Fuel, I'm hoping for the best. But I'm barely functional. It's actually impressive that I'm doing anything at all. I don't even know, I can barely talk. Yesterday, let me tell you about yesterday. By the way, I hope you guys had a great Wednesday. I don't know what you got up to. Did you guys do anything, watch anything, play anything? Um, I went to the dentist yesterday. And my dentist is literally on the other side of the fucking city. So I want to switch dentists because it's just like a, it's like a 40 minute drive to get to the fucking dentist, which is just like, I don't know, that's a long, that's a long drive, like for the dentist, you know, like I'll go 40 minutes to see a friend, but I won't go 40 minutes for the dentist. So, um, but obviously I did, but I already had my, um, consultation with them and everything. So I didn't want to have to go get another consultation for the different dentist. Cause that'd be more appointments. But now I have to go back because they're giving me a fucking mouth guard. I was so annoyed when they told me I had to go back there. I was like, the next week I have to pick up my fucking mouth guard. I'll be in the dentist office for like two minutes. So I'm gonna do a, an over an hour of driving. You'll get to go stand in a dentist office for a second. Ugh! Ugh, and it's icy out. Ah! <laughs> I hope you're doing good too, holy ravioli. We're gonna play more Pokemon Arceus. Ooh, that sounds like a great Wednesday. Fuck, I haven't- ugh, Man, I played- I didn't even finish the tutorial. I haven't played any. Peacemaker is tight. Eight episodes of Perkin Mountain TV show. Season slash limited series. Ooh, I never even heard of that. I love ice. Do you love driving on ice? I played GeoGuessr for the very first time. It's a lot of fun, but damn. People into it seem to be wizards. The clues they pick up are incredible. You can become one of those wizards. You just gotta learn and observe. Are there any good restaurants out there? I mean, I think most places have pretty good restaurants, but I live in a city, so there's good restaurants. They have like some, um, there's some really good restaurants. I found this restaurant, I'm gonna tell you the name of it, because obviously, uh, I don't wanna get doxxed, but um, I found a fucking tea house, a European style tea house type place, and it looks fucking awesome. I haven't gone there yet. Also, I don't like the location is in the city, because parking there is a fucking nightmare, but. I'm gonna go there maybe in the summer when it's not icy or in the spring or when it's not so icy. Oh, really? How do you like it? Um, Pawn Balls Disenchantment? I watched season one and two, I think. I did some classes I needed to work and then I watched Fruits Basket. I love the remake. Tori's mom is so fucking cool. The remake is so good. I fucking love it. It's so good. Ah, I love Fruits Basket so fucking much, dude. It's such a good anime. Yeah, fucking driving on the snow yesterday, though. What am I doing? 
<laughs> Where's the cap for this? Oh, there it is. Um. What? Sorry, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> um. Oh, I was driving on the ice. And it was, like, literally pretty okay. There was, like, a few moments where my car would, like, swerve, though. Because I'd be driving on a patch of ice, obviously. The worst part, though, is accelerating. You gotta accelerate slow on the ice. I don't know if some of you probably maybe never driven on ice if you don't live in snowy areas. But, um, you have to accelerate really slow. So, like, if you get- if you stop at a red light, and then you start- if you try to just, like, accelerate, your car will go, like, <laughs> So you have to, like, creep up. Um, also, people were going, like, 20 under the speed limit. Was, like, <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't as bad as, some, as like one time I drove in like an actual storm. I didn't realize it was storming out because it's the first time I drove in the winter. So I was like, maybe this is what it's like. And then after I drove again, I was like, that was scary. Um, but yeah, people are going like 20 under the limit in most areas, um, which was cool. I'm glad that we they were though, because there's like some parts where it was so windy, the snow was blowing up everywhere, so you couldn't really see very far in front of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> man. It wasn't that bad though. I know it sounds like it was awful, but the, because it was like, um, that icy out though, there wasn't like a ton of people on the road, so it wasn't too bad. Um, also I got, I got stuck behind this like really old man driving. Um, and it was great though. I liked it because I felt less pressure to like try to drive faster, you know? So I got stuck behind them for a while. So that was... I don't know, that was nice. I like technical bike driving. What is that? Hi, Paul! I was got my car stuck in the parking lot of a health clinic today. The piling up snow is so much fun when you have no speed. You have to turn a sharp 90 degrees. Oh, fuck. Dude, going up any kind of ramps? Um... And the ice is the scariest fucking thing ever. Oh my god. I drove on the highway for a minute and I had to go on one of those like ramps and I was like going like 20. <laughs> I was like, this is terrifying. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, like, I'm starting to get more enjoyment out of drive driving, which is nice. Like, I'm not having I'm not feeling as anxious driving. There is a small issue though, because sometimes when I'm driving. Yeah, I slipped around, I slipped around a bit yesterday. Um the thing about uh about about it that about me enjoying it is sometimes I'm like driving and I'm like you know I'm like okay like we're gonna at this part I'm gonna slow down and like oh I gotta pump the brakes you know like there's like there's so many little things that you gotta like do right so sometimes I literally feel like I'm playing a video game and I'm like this is kind of fun I feel like I'm playing a video game and I'm like this isn't a video game if you mess up you die <laughs> you can't Nox, no, it, it, all right. Yeah. Um, maybe it's my complete driving, uh, hauling ass all the time, can't stop, won't stop. Get a Colorado thing to go faster on snow. Jeez, yeah, definitely not here. People go really slow on the ice, um, because you need the control. Um, if you start fucking, driving really fast i mean i don't know if it's just on snow because on snow like i could see wanting to go faster for traction but like this was ice so like you're not gonna haul ass on ice because if you need to stop you're gonna slip and slide so you need to go slow and then when you stop you gotta stop slow I know how you feel. It's such a nuisance when people drive and run me over. One guy even mur <laughs> murdered me. <laughs> Sorry, wait. Thanks, Mochi. Yeah, but anyway, it was good. It wasn't so bad, actually. It was kind of fun, but definitely hoping that next week the roads are nicer when I have to drive back over there. There we go. Can you recognize different types of snow and ice just from looking at them? Um, I guess it depends. Like, I don't know the name for different types of snow and ice. Um, 
But like if part of the road has like a packed down ice you can tell versus like part of it that doesn't. I slid through a stop sign on my driving test and still passed. I can't tell if you're joking or not. What's the black ice here as well? People go slow in neighborhoods. Uh, on the major roads, always five plus above the limit no matter the weather. Yeah, that sounds dangerous as fuck. Um, definitely not here. The weather's pretty, like, it's pretty icy and snowy though. People usually even drive pretty slow in the summer, I noticed. Like, people here tend to drive slower than faster, I think because of the amount of ice. Yeah, I'm getting more confident about the ice, yeah. That's what, that's kind of what I'm talking about right now. It wasn't, it really wasn't so bad. Cause like, it's pretty easy. Like there's actually a part where I stopped at a red light and my car started like sliding and I just pumped the brakes and then I stopped properly. And I was like, all right, we're good. We're okay. Nice, you can do it, thank you. Yeah. Try not to treat driving like a video game though because I don't want to get reckless. There we go. There we go. Driving on ice sucks. Do you much snow, he snow here in North Texas? There's a lot of ice every year. Oh, from the rain maybe? How's driving going? I remember you were a new driver. It's going good. I've been driving for um, almost a year now and I'm, I'm getting pretty confident. I'm feeling pretty good. So can't parallel park. I'm not great at parallel parking either. I used to have to parallel park like most of the time at my old place and now I don't. So now I like have no practice and I feel like I forget how to do it completely. Um, every time I have to parallel park, I kind of just hope that there's a spot that has like another car missing and then I just pull in. A lot of people aren't. Yeah, it's not. It's hard because like in my driver's uh, class, I was taught how to parallel park, but just with poles and obviously with his car and cars are different shapes. So how you're going to parallel park them is like different depending on the car. So um, not 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 super, not super, not super easy. I started driving very well. Oh, that's great. Why don't you leave parallel park when there's space for like two cars? Yeah, <laughs> and then you just pull in and then it's easy and you don't have to like try to do it. One time I was I was parked and I was sitting in, in a in my car and I saw someone in front of me parallel park like instantly. They just went like and they were like instantly in the spot. Like I it was so amazing. It was so amazing. I was so impressed. They didn't have to mess with it at all. There we go. Driving, guys. I need one of those cars that parallel parks for me. Oh my god. That'd be amazing. On my driving test, I got an 80 because I got a perfect score, but couldn't parallel park all. Oh. Also, will drive uh, on a plane of real flat ice with a bicycle. Probably the car, too. I'm glad over a very small patch, but it's almost impossible to keep the bike underneath you if the ice is dirty or soft you can get some traction you can do it if you mostly go straight forward i actually never rode my bike on on ice or snow i would always wait until summer i think they make like really fat like big tires though that you can get for your bikes that make the traction better on snow i see some people here um riding them the tires are like fat as hell not even sure i can parallel park now it's hard why is parallel parking so hard enter a spot easily it takes a lot of maneuvering to get the car properly parked yeah exactly like then it's like really crooked or i'm like out a bit and i'm like Fuck. then i have to pull out and pull back in and pull out so if the street's busy it's just embarrassing the snow bike sounds wild they look kind of cool they do look kind of cool it is kind of funny though all right they're actually called fat bikes wait really are you telling the truth, Skeletor? That's crazy. Fat bike. There we go. 
Uh, I would bike on snow, but I hate it. Yeah, I hate it too. Cool. That's interesting. That bike is the wheels fat. There we go. And that's the blush. I bought another tube of that, but I haven't finished this one yet. I thought I was gonna finish it sooner. This stuff really lasts. There we go. Yeah. One time, actually, you know what was funny? I walked outside of my apartment building and there's like a bike rack. And I was like, where's my bike? And then I remembered I don't have a bike. <laughs> I was like, where is my bike? Girl, you don't, you don't have one. What? <laughs> I'm doing makeup, my makeup too. Oh, hell yeah. Look at us. We're doing it together. Bunch of pals doing the makeup at the same time. Let's go. <laughs> Man, it's so weird when you have thoughts like that. I remember one time too. I was at a museum and I saw a bunch of kids playing in uh, the fountain at the museum and I was like, whoa, we're allowed to play in the fountain? And I was like, what the fuck is we? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm an adult. I'm not gonna go play in the fountain. <laughs> I just realized I'm holding back with Buddy Ear thing too. Oh, that's cute. Matching. And though, because you're an adult, I guess, I guess I could, could just go play in the fountain. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, make friends with those kids. Usually you need a kid with you, yeah. <laughs> Should have, um, oh no, I don't think I actually wanted to, it's just one of those... What are those thoughts? I feel like I've seen this before. This is live, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, wait, what am I doing? Oh, right. Wait, no. Eyebrows first. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I've never been live. It's all pre recorded. <laughs> Thanks, Ordo. Um, shit. What else happened? What else happened? My dress arrived yesterday. My dress that I got that was supposed to be my cute dress for Valentine's. So I took some pictures with it. I'm gonna post them later. So, pretend that it's still Valentine's Day. I'm very excited. It, it actually fits perfect. So I'm very happy about it. Oh boy, a Zelda stream. Hi, Windsor. Windsor's, sorry. Can't wait to see it. I'm so happy with it. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And then I have two more things arriving from Depop and then I'm done shopping at Depop for a while, for, for a bit. Gotta take a break. I've been watching through uh, the show 16, um, which is like a Canadian cartoon. It did air in America, but I feel like it's, it's by the same people that did uh, Total Drama Island. But more people are familiar with Total Drama than they are 16. Um, apparently 16 was like pretty heavily censored and had a few banned episodes in America, so I don't think they um, aired it all the time. I love that show. It's so good. I'm watching it right now. I'm rewatching it. I think I'm still on season two. Um, but uh, the show, because they're in a mall and Caitlyn's always shopping, it makes me want to go and look for clothes. It, may, it just is like, ooh, I should check Depop. I'm like, no. Why does this show make me want to want to get clothes? Um, I really need this stream today. My work is insane. I just thought of my manager is going to dissolve our team. So we can go work on the team he came from with him as a manager so he can have more people to manage. So as far, he's made three of my friends quit. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, streaming is guaranteed success. People will pay you for for Bibio game. I suggest playing Fortnite and not talking at all. And then, if it doesn't work out, it's women's fault. <laughs> no. 
Stoked is the same as not as good. I, yeah, I never got into Stoked. I honestly, when I was a kid, I wasn't even that into Total Drama, but I did watch it quite a bit. But Stoked, I think I watched the first episode and then never again. Oh no, I'm late. Hi, Clicks. It's okay. Okay, welcome in. Okay, I'm just trying to... Why is this so hard to do? Your streaming master master chef is guaranteed success. <laughs> Can you start your own company and then have him buy the services? Oh, now there you go. That's thinking with the noggin. Last week a woman made me stub my toe. <laughs> but yeah, I've been I've been rewatching sixteen. It's been fun. I like it. Um, Stoke was like a retread through and through. Total Drama had more sh steam, but holy hell, they ma milked it. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't really made a lot of other shows, I noticed, because I looked up the, uh, the creator, because I was like, I wonder what else the stuff he's worked on. And it was just like, a 16 Total Drama and then a bunch of Total Drama, like, spinoffs and Stoke. There we go. The scene got put on YouTube by the creators. Oh, really? Also, oh, they made Life with Derek? Oh, I didn't see that in the... I must have been looking at just, like, the one guy. I loved Life in, with Derek when I was a kid. That show was... That show was kind of weird. It was good, though. I loved it. Every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, a woman makes me watch her stream and have a good time. Don't forget Friday. Don't forget Friday. By the way, tomorrow we're going to be uh, doing some more Mario 64 speedrun, and then in the Discord, afterwards, we're going to do a Shrek movie night marathon, where we watch the first three Shrek, mo Shrek movies together, in a row. It's going to be sick, so if you're not doing anything tomorrow, why don't you come on by? You're watching Shrek? Shrek! I hope I'm saying it right. Shrek. How did I forget Friday? I don't know. I don't know how you forgot it. Truck my dick. <laughs> oh Alright, you know what? I'll let you have that one. There we go. I forgive you, Cotton Balls. Don't worry. Don't worry. What? Why is this so fucking annoying? Every time I do my eyebrows, it's just stressful. Stressful every fucking time. We're not skipping Shrek 3? No. Because the reviews for Shrek 3 are mixed. Some people liked it, and some people didn't. But everyone agrees that Shrek 4 sucks. So I'm curious about Shrek 3. I, I watched it when I was a kid, but I literally don't remember it, which is probably a sign that it wasn't great. Um, but... We need to watch. Shrek 2 is my favorite. Shrek 2, I think, is objectively the best one. You know? I do love Shrek 1 very much. I definitely watched that one more time than Shrek 2, but Shrek 2 is, like, very well written. It's hard to improve something that's perfect. That's true. That's true. 3 is the one with Artie and 4 is the one with Rumpel? Who the fuck is Artie? I think 4 is the one with Rumpel. I never saw it. I remember wanting to see it when I saw the trailers for it. I'd be like, oh my god. I'm feeling so sad that I didn't see it. I no longer feel sad that I didn't see it. Are you gonna watch Push and Boots or are you sticking to the main Just Shrek, just Shrek 1 through 3. Shrek 1 through 3. I did watch Push and Boots though when it came out and I remember liking it. There we go. I remember absolutely nothing about Shrek. Yeah. I feel like when I watch it, there will be certain things that I remember. But, um, I don't remember anything. Why do some Shrek games slap, though? The only Shrek games I played did not slap. <laughs> How old were you when the first Shrek came out? 
like an infant. Um, but it, did it come out like what two thousand? I was a I was a baby. I was a little child. Or did it, or did it come out in ninety nine? Or to the game went hard on GameCube. Is that the one I play with my cousin? It's hero time. Maybe I shouldn't be here, I'm old. Just because you're older than me doesn't mean you can't watch the stream, you silly goof. Oh no, the streamer watched Shrek when they were a baby and I wasn't a baby. Now we- uh, now all of the things that we have in common and the things I like about the stream are invalid. Uh, I was 20 when it came out. That is- that is- de you are definitely a lot older than me. But that's okay, because I play a lot of retro games and stuff, so that makes sense that you're here. Never thought piggy banks could be so wise. And then I realized it's only natural since they're filled with common sense. Common sense. Hi, Omni! Yeah, ageism? Mm -mm. Unless I call my brother old. Because it's funny, because he's not old. And he's my brother. So. That is the only time you'll <laughs> hear me. <gasps> hear me <laughs> say it. Um. Hi, Kira! What's up? Remember Blockbuster? I don't think we had a blockbuster in my hometown, but we had like a, a rental place. I loved it. It was the best. Man. They should have like a renting system for games again. That would be cool. Oh yeah, did you guys hear the big news? That the, um, the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS shops are shutting down in 2023. Uh, March 2023. A lot of people are really mad about it. A lot of people are 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 are, are uh, posting about it. What was your music? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I never heard of blockbuster music. They they rented music. Did you like listen to an album and then bring it back and be like, all right, I'm done. What? How did that work? Yeah, a lot of people are very upset because um a lot of the games on the Wii U console retro like retro console specifically can't be bought anywhere else um so people are like oh, they're not preserving like retro games you know which I, I i totally understand i'm definitely gonna have to buy a bunch of fucking games off of that before they shut it down um it does suck for sure i wonder i wonder if they're going to try to upload a bunch of those onto the Switch, because yeah, like the thing about the Wii U retro console that's great is it has um, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, um, DS, uh, GameCube, SNES, N64, Wii, um, a bunch of shit. I mean, they don't have like every fucking game, but they have like a lot. So it's it's quite good. I don't think Nintendo will care. Got on PlayStation for keeping the store since 2006. Yeah. Do you have Super Mario Bros. 3 on Wii U DC Game Boy Advance? Super Mario Bros. Oh, I have that on this SNES. Not the Advance. I don't know treated the ad guy. That ad guy? With how Nintendo treated that ad guy for the hackers music and games like that all it has accomplished maybe you want to learn how to pirate all of their stuff i'm going to see how little money i can give them from now on i think that's fair maybe we're getting a 3ds at some point is it worth it since i have a switch um i guess it depends on what you plan on playing the 3ds with Yeah, that's for my ID at the liquor store. My old, <laughs> old blockbuster card fell out of my wallet, and the cashier said, "Never mind." <laughs> the 
the Wii slash VC of Super Mario Bros. 3 have the e-reader levels. I'm watching a Let's Play of it at the moment. Ooh, the e-reader levels. What is that? I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to buy some stuff off of that. But yeah, this is going to definitely a lot of those older games are gonna make it's it's funny because Nintendo is very anti-piracy, right? But they're putting people in a position where they're gonna have to pirate in order to get certain games. So I don't know. Hopefully they put some of them up, but it is weird. I don't hate Nintendo uh, or their IPs, but yeah, they they have like a very like old view of like gaming in the internet. Like at least they don't have the stupid Nintendo partner thing anymore. Remember when anyone couldn't stream or play their games because you had to get approval from Nintendo and like I think pay them to stream their games? What are you playing today? We're gonna play Tomb Raider 2. company they don't deserve my money if they stop extraditing people to serve years in prison for running ads on a website then put out a press release about how cool they are for doing it i'll start paying money what wait what so someone put ads on a site and they're trying to put them in prison for years what site i didn't i didn't hear about that i just had to look i can't find a 3ds xl for less than 150 euros. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really play a lot of my 3DS anymore. Uh, I'm trying to think of what games are on there. I guess like the Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time um, remakes were pretty good. Um, Tomodachi Life is fucking good. Um, New Leaf was good, but uh, New Horizons is definitely better. Um... Else. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. I know there's gotta be more, but. Did you know your pupils are the last part to stop working when you die? They dilate. They dilate. They dilate. Dilate. You say di dilate. Dilate. So a quick 20 you should back for Wii U 3DS from Game Explain. What? Mario 3D Oh yeah, Mario 3D Land was good. Mario's or Nintendo's uh, I said Mario. Nintendo's updated views on emulation is what kills game preservation. Feel like Xbox understands. Yeah. I don't understand, but uh, I think, uh, I don't know, I think as the younger people start to get more involved with Nintendo stuff, it'll probably get better, maybe, in the future, praying. Hi, Rotten Angel. I remember that generation of Mario games being fun. Played a couple of on my friend's console, the Mario Land and Mario World, Super Mario 3D World and 3D Land. Yeah, they were fun. This is a while ago. There's a Canadian guy whose last name is Bowser. Ironic. He, he, he's in charge of putting ads up for a site that sold pirate chips for the Switch. The Nintendo got him extradited. Extradited. Oh, okay. They want to put him in prison for 10 years. They gave him three to for five with no parole in American prison. After the Nintendo put a press release praising Cost for saying how cool it was, they sent him to jail. What? Oh. Whoa. Thank you for the bits. Fly Raven Wings underscore cheered Dex 100. Nintendo kills virtual console. Also, Nintendo PLS don't pirate our games that we don't even sell copies of anymore, or we will sue you so hard your grandchildren will need lawyers. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. 
the news story. Let me find it. I feel like normally they sue people over that. Like, man. Nintendo seems like they want their own stuff not to be loved or something. It's always a new product they want the market focused on. Man, it is weird. I don't know. Insert Mojo Jojo saying that's the most evil thing I've ever heard. I love Mojo Jojo. American prison. Okay, so Gary Bowser. Remember Tori's team executed group of console hackers has been sentenced to 40 months in prison for his role in promoting and selling devices um, in the SXOS line of piracy enabling devices for the Nintendo Switch. Final sentence, which comes after Bowser, fired, filed guilty plea in November, falls almost precisely between 16 months sought by prosecutors and the 19 months sought by Bowser's defense. Bowser has already served up to served 16 months of pre-sentencing detention after being arrested in the Dominic no, Dominican Republic and deported to the U.S. in 2020. Uh, in pushing for jail time for Bowser, the federal prosecutors were clear that they thought a significant sentence would send a message that there are consequences for, partici for participating in a sustained effort to undermine the video game industry. Prosecutors also expected immediate coverage of Bowser's fate will help with deterrence, writing that any sentence in post case will be widely dismissed within the video gaming community as this case watched closely by the industry. Nintendo seemed happy to lean into the send a message idea, saying in a statement sent to ours that the company appreciates the hard work and tireless efforts, efforts of federal persecutors and law enforcement agencies to curb illegal activities on a global scale that cause serious harm to Nintendo and the video game industry. There are serious criminal offenses with real victims to harm in the community. U.S. District Judge Robert S. Lasnick said during the sentence hearing. Other sentence is significantly longer than that for the mega upload programmer, Andrus Nam, who faced a sentence of a year and a day after pleading guilty in 2015 to copyright inf infringement. Why did this guy that ran ads get a bigger sentence than the person who made who made the program? In addition to deal time, Bowser has previously agreed to pay 4.5 million in criminal penalties as well as 10 million in a separate civil suit brought by Nintendo. Bowser made an estimated 320,000 over seven years for his work for Teen Executor. What? That's despite tens of millions of dollars in SXOS device sales and contributed to 65. Uh, to 150 million of copyright infringement according to Bowser's guilty plea. Two members of Team Executor were indicted alongside Bowser in 2020. Bowser's lawyer says they're a much more central operation have to face trial. Max Lauren is currently in France fighting an ex extradition request from the US government. Uh, well, Yuang Chen resides in Shenzhen, China has not, been not yet been apprehended. That's fucking crazy. That's why, see, that's why, Nintendo is very scary. Nintendo is very scary. That's why I'm so, like, you know how people be like, you should just emulate everything. And I'm like, Nintendo ever decides to make an example out of me, I will, they will literally send me to hell. So, uh, that's why I'm so careful. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense business-wide, especially since they release the NES and SNES ROM boxes. I mean, classic editions. Obviously, it can easily allow people to transfer data to those older games, take up little-known data regardless of today's standards, and won't sell the games. People transfer what they bought to the next generation. If they shift it, people find ways to do it themselves. It's so weird. Probably because his name- yeah, because <laughs> his name's Bowser. They're like, here we go. In poor countries uh, where access to Nintendo games is also impossible, how expensive it is. I've seen a heavy market for jailbroken consoles emulation. Gives people access to games they would not normally have access to. What the fuck? Huh. Yeah, 
Yeah, he'll never just like see enough money to pay them back. What the f- they just- oh my god, okay. Cool. Billion dollar corporation, Daddy Blum. Yeah. Like, I think that there's something to do with IP where they have to enforce a certain amount of piracy, otherwise, they can lose the copyright or something. But I don't think they have to take it that far. Anyway. Yikey. Um, let's, uh, let's tell Mindy's fortune. Alright, Mindy. Pick a color. We got, we got, we got red, we got blue, we got orange, we got green, we got pink, we got teal, we got purple, we got gray. What color do you pick? Guilt, T-E-A-L. All right, pick an animal. Squid, cow, manky, or fridge? I drew, I drew the pictures of each of them. Fridge. F-R-I-D-G-E. Alright, pick again. Fridge, squid, manky, or cow. Cow. Alright. Alright. You are going to go to a concert where you'll meet a very fascinating old lady. The old lady... Invites you over to her house for an after party after the concert. You accept. You walk into her house and things are kind of weird. The decorations don't really make a lot of sense. You try to sit down, but the chair isn't, is, is, is upside down. Why is the chair upside down? You ask her about it. She says, oh, it's for cleaning. And then she sits on it wrong. It's really weird. You're like, that's weird. Maybe she just doesn't know a lot of stuff or she's confused or something. She offers you food. What she brings you is kind of strange. It's like pudding and some potatoes and some like green onion. And you're like, why are you, what, what, what? And she's like, this is a very good meal. And you're like, I, I don't, I don't know about, about, about that. Uh, that's, that seems kind of gross. I, I guess I, I don't want to eat this, actually. But she says you're being impolite. So you pretend to take a bite. She seems pleased. She walks away into the other room. You fall through the floor. You land on a pile of bones. You're trapped. <laughs> you don't see an exit. The lady... She takes her very long neck through the hole. She's actually, she's actually a snake. She's actually a really big snake. <laughs> you plead with the, with the lady, asking her to let you out. She says no. But then you offer to give her a very, a very nice piece of advice. She accepts. You tell her that if she, if she slithers towards the sun, and turns left, there will be a very cool guy that she can meet down the street corner. She leaves, and as she's leaving, you grab onto her neck and escape the, the basement. And that's why you shouldn't talk to old ladies at concerts. It's very small writing. It's very small writing on the cootie catcher. And that's your fortune. Where do they come from? That's, uh, that's just on the- that's on the cootie catcher. It's a uh, fortune. Hi, Parent Thomas! How small is the letter? Very small. Tiny. Very 
tiny. There we go. What did I say? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Yesterday at the dentist. Okay, I'm going back to the dentist. Um, so they before they froze me, I was getting a filling changed. Before they froze me, they asked me, like, how do you do with freezing? And I was like, oh, I've needed more before. Um, and they're like, okay, well, we'll just start you with a normal amount. And then uh, just raise your hand if you need more. And I was like, okay. So they freeze me, and it, like, it sucks. It hurts. Like, it very hurts. Um, <laughs> and my nose, like, right here is, like, still kind of sore. Actually, it's not really my nose. It's, like, right here. It's still sore from the freezing, which I think is normal. Um, it should go away. But, uh, anyway, so they freeze me, and, like, I remember at my old dentist, um, uh, sometimes they'd, I, they needed to freeze me three times, and even after being frozen, like, three times, I could still feel, like, everything that they're doing. Like, if they put, like, uh, one of those sliders in between my teeth, I could feel it. Um, if they wrapped my tooth in, like, elastic band, I could feel it. Like, I could feel what they were doing. I was so fr- I couldn't feel shit. I couldn't feel what the fuck they were doing. I only knew kind of what they are doing, just kind of, like, based off of what they had in their hands and shit. But, like, I couldn't feel anything. So I'm like, damn, did my old dentist just fucking, like, totally scrimp out on the freezing? Like, why did I need three fucking needles and it didn't feel anything like that? I was so- I was literally fine. Um, look at the ads. They're not streamers. Oh, no, there's no. You don't need to worry about it. You're good. Sorry if I missed any of your messages. I just yesterday I had a tooth pulled. I just like, couldn't because I was bleeding so much. Really? Oh. I don't remember bleeding that much, but I'm not, I'm not much of a bleeder, I guess. No, you did not. Oh, okay, good. Maybe the old dentist was too rough with their hands. I don't think so. I don't think they were using the same type of freezing or they were using much less of it because also the needle was different. I usually skip the Novocaine Nova when I go to the dentist. I'd rather have a little pain in the moment than feeling all numb, really? Whenever I haven't had the freezing work, it hurts really fucking bad. But I don't know. Maybe either your pain tolerance is better than mine, or you've had different dental work done. What do you mean by freezing? Um, they stick like a few needles in you, and then you go totally numb like on this side of your mouth. At least that's what happened, it went like numb. If they do it like down here, sometimes your tongue goes numb and stuff. And then you can't feel what they're doing. I hope they did something that's actually cold. No. Uh, yeah, if it's nerve work or removals. Um, I've usually been put under for normal cavities. I s oh, but for normal cavities, I skip. Hmm. You've been put- oh, wow. Normal cavities. Hmm. I find it hurts. But I had one- the one that I remember it hurt the most one was one where he was like, you might need a root canal. I did not need a root canal, thankfully. I was numb from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Damn. I think I was only, my face was only numb for like maybe two or three hours after my appointment. I went to the dentist and they were flossing my teeth super aggressively and they told me I needed to floss more because I was bleeding so much. Floss every day. Just don't manhandle my gums. Oh. Root canals are uncomfortable. Yeah, I've never had a root canal, fortunately, but it was up there with the nerves, so maybe that's why it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. get tripped over you can hear them drilling we can't feel it the drilling hurts i'd rather not feel the drilling got a collection of textbooks on dentistry on my computer so i might 
Learn to do my own work eventually. What? Ooh. Um. I tell them to make me as numb as they can. Teeth shit bothers me so much. I really hate the smell of the drill. Oh. I fucking hate needles, so. He was like, hopefully that's enough. And I was like, I hope so too. Because I hate the fucking needle. If I could get myself knocked out when I go, I, I would. Certain, actually, I heard that certain dentals uh, actually offer that. If you're like a really anxious person and you hate dentists, um, apparently some of them will knock you out. It's a service. Probably have to pay extra for it. A few years ago, I had an abscess that wouldn't allow local anesthetic to work. And the dentist just pulled the tooth anyway. It's one of the worst pain I've ever felt. Once the tooth uh, was out, though, the whole side of my face was numb. Oh. Ah! That's horrible. Oh my god. That is, a, that is a terrifying story. <laughs> okay. I don't like me with my teeth. Uh, there's something in my saliva, either too acid or basic, not sure. There's any immune cavities, which uh, have loads of plaque. Narrator. Oh, so you're probably too basic because I'm acidic. Or was acidic? Maybe not so much anymore, but I used to get cavities like a motherfucker. Um. And the dentist said that I had acidic saliva. And the only good thing about having acidic saliva is that your teeth look a little bit whiter because you're enamel. Basically, his ass. <laughs> oh, what I need is liquid Valium. I got that when I was having a panic attack. You had told me you are about to set me on fire. I would have been like, let me get the gas for you, homie. <laughs> Listen, I was at the dentist. The dentist is fixing three holes. A trainee with her, and she didn't know what to do yet. So it took a long time uh, that the anesthetic started wearing off mid-drilling. I just suffered since I didn't want to be inconvenienced and say anything. Oh, You're a xenomorph. Yes. I'm a xenomorph. Do you like spit on people and burn their flesh off? No. <laughs> Just means that it's a little more acidic. It doesn't it doesn't actually do anything. Okay, hold on, sorry, I'm just doing my eyeliner. a little bit of focus. TikTok and people weren't upset by it. What? At least the uh, saliva is supposed to be basic. That's the optimal environment for amylase. The enzyme that decomposes complex sugars to where it can't spy. You should chew thoroughly because once it's in your once it's in your stomach, it's too acidic. what is in your stomach. I'm confused. It's too acidic in your stomach for what? Um... Not bad, not bad. 
Oh, it was debunked? Oh, okay. It happened. It happened. Sorry, I bumped my mic. There we go. Um, I remember one time I was brushing my teeth and I felt something fuzz and pulled hair out of my mouth. They go and look at the toothbrush to see one of the bristles. <gasps> it was a spider! I no longer brush my teeth! That is the solution. <laughs> How to avoid that from ever happening. Never brush your teeth. I took a Corsa MOC, MOOC on nutrition. Dietitian said mixing with saliva is no longer believed to be so important to digestion. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, there you go, Paul. Just knock the teeth out. You don't need a, a dentist if you can just go get punched in the face really hard. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Would you say you have high tier makeup skills? <laughs> I don't think I would say that. <laughs> Thank you though. That's really sweet. I definitely have improved since a few years ago. Oh! But, uh, and I'm still trying to learn. No, I'm always trying to learn. Because as, as, as someone who does cosplay now, I'm always trying to figure out what I can learn about um, makeup. You know? Find the best. Have a good one. I, I wait. Oh, I think I finished Venice. The best. Someone who brush, who has to brush her teeth because if she doesn't, this weird thing for her gums turn gray. Her is called, she says it runs in her family, it's kind of deadly. What the fuck? How often? I brush my teeth twice a day. The dentist hasn't said anything nice about my teeth though. No compliments from the dentist. Still doing it though, because I hate the feeling of uh, dirty teeth. Bad breath. Ugh. I mean, that would get you though. It's kind of deadly. Gonna have the cleanest teeth known to man. Yeah, the dentist didn't give me any compliments on my fucking teeth. Do you believe that? On the health of my teeth? And also, I was so brave during the needles, and they didn't give me any toys. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Did I have a check I gave it last time I got my teeth fixed? It took me a week and so much pain. So far, so good. I can eat lemons again. Oh, hell yeah. You're gonna die unless you brush your teeth right now. I feel like a lot of dentists feel like if you if they compliment your teeth, you'll stop coming. Oh. I like the compliments. It's important to me. But I'll still go. I'll still go. Although, I am going to switch dentists, I think. But not because they didn't give me compliments. But because they're so far away. I do like them, though. They are nice. They're really nice. Maybe I shouldn't switch them. Oh man. You should normalize fun shit for adults after we get shit done. Makes every day a bit less crappy. Well also imagine, imagine this. Imagine you get like a real asshole at your dentist appointment, right? And they're like, you know, they're just being a dick about it. They're being really difficult to work with, whatever. And then at the end of the appointment you go, no toy for you then. You were not a brave one, you know? This, this kind of enforcement 
Maybe people will be nicer to workers. I don't know. Um, yeah, positive reinforcement is an under... Yeah, why'd we stop positively re reinforcing good behavior? You should do that for adults too, not just children. Yeah, if you went to the dentist, you deserve a sticker. Yeah. Yeah, your employ your employer is different, but like if you know. If you act good at the dentist, give me a prize. I always get a free toothbrush. They didn't give me a free toothbrush last time I went, went for the cleaning, so that was nice. Although, I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like that toothbrush you give me. What am I doing? Oh yeah, okay, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> the only thing I ever got from dentists was the bills. See? Why not a cheap plastic toy? Dang. A bill. <laughs> Think of behavior is something you should do anyway. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. This is true. I still want a toy, though. I get a free teeth picker thingy. Oh, really? Yeah, that's not bad. Employees should reward you with stickers, but they also shouldn't only tell you what needs improvement. They should really tell you what you're doing well. I think that's a- I read- I read a book, actually, that talked about that. That there's this boss where he would, like, frequently go in and tell his workers, like, Oh, you guys aren't wearing your hats. You guys aren't doing your this and that, right? And then he would always do that. And they just all resented him. But then he started just rewarding good behavior and being like, wow, good job wearing your hat, Jimmy. I appreciate that. And then everyone started doing it because they like appreciation and good positive reinforcement so much that it made everyone perform better. <laughs> she had her 15 year anniversary with her job. She worked there way before she graduated. They gave her an option of giving like a $10 clock or a $70 knife set for 15 years. Oh my fucking God. That's really upsetting. You didn't bring that back. Yeah, I want stickers. I tell my guys all the time when they do a good job, a little pat on the back every now and then goes a long way. Aw, that's great. I think people really love positive reinforcements. I do. At my annual review, and they only told me what I needed to work on. They gave my personal performance review, they were nicer. I almost felt blindsided. Oh. I know what it's like to bust your ass for someone that couldn't give t-shirts. Oh, that's really nice. We need more bosses like goddamn Superman. I pretty much no positive reinforcement at my last job. Now every day people are telling me I'm doing well. Aww! Yay, I'm so happy for you, Mindy! Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this, I think. There we go. Yeah. That's always nice when you get into a better position. Moving up. Better place. Happier. Quality of life improvement. This is cute. This is from the, um... 
Damn it. It's like, it was that channel on the, the Wii where you would... Where you would vote for stuff. It was fun. I used to check it every day. Let me see. I think it wasn't check me out. What was it? Hold on, I can find it. Everybody votes channel. Yeah, so it was fun. It was like this little thing where you would go in. I'm sure some people remember it. Um, and you would like, it would give you like, do you sleep on the right or the left side of the bed? Or something like that. And then you would go, I sleep on the right side. And then, so you'd vote for what you do. And then you try to guess what um, more people were voting for. So like, do you think more people sleep on the right or left side of the bed? And then you would get like a score if you got it right or something. But you wouldn't find out till the next day. Once everyone was done voting. So it was fun. I don't know. I've been into wearing red lipstick lately. I used to wear red lipstick like pretty much every day when I was in high school. And then one day I just kind of stopped. I don't really know why. All knowing alien. I like black on you, actually. Thank you. I do wear that sometimes. Thanks, Mindy. I got a lot of positive reinforcement on my first internship. I think it's because the last intern didn't do a whole lot. You know what? Take your wins. Take your wins. You were great. It's hard to do normally, but it might be an outfit thing. Yeah, it's an outfit thing. Also, it's just really bold, so. Um. I don't know. I like it on me, but yeah, I definitely don't wear it all the time. That'll be right. That'll be the right, the right day. There we go. Yeah! Okay, we're almost done here. Sometimes it takes me a long time to do this. Wait, it has really taken me a long time to do this. What the fuck? Oh my god, I do not- I do not have a concept of time passing. Um... Good. Good. I need negativity to grow. I'm like a weed. <laughs> I like it when people bully me into performing better. <laughs> yes, tell me I'm horrible so that I can improve myself. Let's go. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Tell me, I've been bad. My come up, weird new manager. Oh my god. Hi, Boba. How's it going? What is this song that slaps? Let's see. I can send me the playlist. Um, this one is uh, Curran Squash Natural World 2 C. Got the copy with where we are in the playlist. There we go. Thanks, goddamn Superman. I appreciate it. I'm like rotten mommy now. No. <laughs> oh my god. I wish to be done now. People being shitty to me anytime I notice something positive it makes me cry. Aww. Aww. Maybe it's really sad. You know, I kind of like the Ice Queen who makes me feel a bit silly and they give me a kiss when I get over myself. Oh, an Ice Queen. 
an ice queen. The ice king from Adventure Time. Man. That reminds me, you guys remember Narnia? Where that one fucking kid sells out his siblings for some Turkish delight? I remember thinking like, man, I want to try Turkish delight after that, you know? Like, that shit must be really good then. And then I remember the first time I had it, I was like, this is incredibly mediocre. I, I get like a little mad every time I see Turkish Delight after that, because I'm like, it's not that good. It's n Why did you sell at your family for like a mediocre fucking chocolate? Like... You really did not need much to turn on the siblings. For real! Fucking Turkish Delight? Gotta wash dishes, have fun, y'all. See you. Maybe your siblings are dick, ba dick bags. Did you see? Did you watch Narnia? Did you watch Narnia? Because I don't remember them being dickish enough for, for him to sell them for Turkish delight. Oh, you meant Hey Arnold. No, Narnia. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Nar Narnia. To be fair, Turkish really slaps. I disagree. It does not slap enough to sell your siblings for, at least in my opinion. It is not a good enough chocolate. I think it's because it was during a war time and sweets are rare. Okay, that's fair. Be a good cheered X100. Turkish delight sounds like a sex act someone would cat call people with. <laughs> You're my Turkish delight. <laughs> I don't have any stones, but I'd sell my cousins for some candy. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Have you met my siblings? You're right, I would do it for less. Siblings in Narnia were nice. Clarissa's hard on to, to a child friendly implied honors. You get a free Turkish delight. <laughs> oh, implied horrors. It could happen. That show was pretty dark. Yeah, I forgot that it was set during World War II, so that kind of makes sense, more sense. Cause in my head, I was like, Turkish Light must be fucking delicious. All right, we're done. We're done, the, we're done the makeup. This is the finished look. Wait, am I done my G film? Or delicious. My grandma tells me stories about World War II and how many pick up coal that fell off a train to keep warm. You know what? If that's what I was living through, I might sell my siblings for some Turkish delight. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you know what? I really want that fucking Turkish delight. This is also coming from someone who drank back backwash fucking drops of can of of root beer to get a little bit of sugar from the bottom. So if it was okay, if see if it was a fancy expensive chocolate, it makes more sense. Right? I just I just remember being disappointed because it, as a kid I was like, okay, so that must be like one of the best candies out there. And it wasn't. So, but if it was like really delicious, then I would be pretty happy. I'd be like, this is the chocolate that's so good. Sell my family for it. Oh my god. Okay, um I'm gonna take a quick break, go to the washroom and do my hair, and then we're gonna we're gonna come back and play some fucking Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. <laughs> 